It's exciting to see so many people here today to celebrate this momentous occasion. Some people thought the odds of Kobe Bryant showing up today were the same as Shaq sinking a free throw. <laughs> Watching frustrated players swarm around all 325 pounds of a determined Shaq spinning toward the basket was like watching those tiny old biplanes trying to take down King Kong. No player ever had to endure more physical abuse. Yet not only did he endure it, he excelled in the face of it. This is a player I most enjoyed when I was with, with him because he always deprecated himself. He was fun. He never changed, never changed. Uh, just a unique man, and uh, I loved him like a son. Thank you. You know, we've heard a lot of stories about uh, Shaq today, but what we haven't talked about is how good of a player he was. <laughs> Most dominant player I've ever seen. And I remember the playoff series against San Antonio. We're going into the arena, and uh, he and I would sit against each other in the back of the bus. And uh, he leans over to me and he goes, bring it to me early tonight. Bring it to me early. I'm looking, I'm like, all right, what's, 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 what's going on? He said, when I was a kid, David Robinson wasn't very nice to me. <laughs> I said, say no more. This series is in a bag, man. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We pushed each other. You know, we had our battles, we had our times, but we always had respect for each other and we were able to win three championships. Definitely couldn't have done it without you. I appreciate you very much. And next time we're out here for a statue, probably be your statue, so thank you. As I look out here, I have to do it. You know what's coming. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Thank you guys, love you very much, appreciate you. And Shaq will forever live at, out at the Staples Center. I've been to I've been to one of those. Oh, uh, have you? I've been to a Staples Center L.A. Lakers statue reveal before. 